and welcome to another edition of Carbs and Reckless Eating, the only show where I sit in a car and BS while consuming carbs. We have another Starbucks review coming right now, but first check out our good friend Scott's video review movie thingamabobber in uh, the same tradition of like that guy with the glasses reviews. It's Guilty Pleasure Cinema. I'm actually wearing one of his shirts that he sells on his website. I'm going to link you to a few of his movie reviews down in the description. So you can click on them, check them out. I think the thing that sets him apart from other movie reviewers is that he goes uh, much more in depth. Like his videos are a lot longer because he'll actually follow along with the entire movie and not just pick out the parts that everybody knows in these movies. Like he really goes in depth and really, really examines the movie. So he's very good at it and he's one of our close friends. Check it out and uh, watch a lot of his reviews and whatnot. So today we have the gingerbread latte. I was actually gonna go to do the eggnog latte and then I remembered as I was walking through the Starbucks, I was like, oh yeah, we did that last year so click right there for that review if you want to see me try the eggnog latte this is the gingerbread latte I do like gingerbread more than I like eggnog a lot I mean I'm not even a huge gingerbread guy but I like gingerbread more than pumpkin more than eggnog a lot of the holiday stuff I think this is gonna be pretty good this should be interesting it's really hot though so I have a feeling I'm gonna burn my mouth wait right, here we go let's try it out uh, it does smell like gingerbread and coffee here we go It's pretty hot. Yeah, <laughs> that does have a little bit of a gingerbread taste. It's almost like a like a bitterness to it. Hello, bitterman. I'm bitterman. Oh, it's super hot. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of this one. I feel like it just made the coffee really, really bitter. Again, I'm not a coffee person, and I understand if you get upset. Some people do get mad when I do coffee reviews, and I'm like, oh, coffee. Why are you doing coffee? I I get it. At the same time, who cares? <laughs> like who? It's, uh, it's one of those things where a lot of times we'll get messages and people will be like, why are, we, why are you going to review something if you already hate it? Why would anybody review anything if they already hate it? Like, because they're a reviewer and that's what you do. I, I was using an example of like Siskel and Ebert when they were around because I don't really know any other reviewers at this time. But like when Siskel and Ebert were around, what, the, so they were just supposed to avoid like all movies that they would potentially dislike? What happens? Sometimes you'll try something even though you think you dislike it and you're like, oh, it's not that bad, actually. It's a lot better than I thought it was. That has happened to me multiple times. But a lot of times I also hate things that I know I'm going to hate. But that's why you review. This uh, the whole thing is just an opinion. Why do people put such a high expectations on, like, a YouTube review thing? I'm not writing an article out on a really nice website or something. I, this whole show is just the opinion of normal guys that are out there. And some things I'm going to like, some things I'll, I'll dislike and like, blah, 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 blah. There you go. One more sip. I'm going to try not to burn my mouth. It's not the worst thing in the world. I could like sip on this, say like it's an early morning and, and we're doing, we're, we're going camping and yard sailing in the same day. I don't know how it's possible. We're, we're going to do it. We're going to yard camp sail. I could sit here and I could sip on it. I, I'd rather have hot chocolate. I've always been more of a hot chocolate guy. But if this was offered to me and it's just like, okay, yeah, whatever. I could sip on it. It's not a big deal. It'll keep me awake too, which is nice. So I would rate this thing a very low three. Personal <laughs> preference though, it's not that great in my opinion. There are other coffee flavors out there that I like more than this. The Snickerdoodle flavor from Dunkin' Donuts, for example, was really good coffee. I got That was delicious. But that's because they made it overly sweet, and some people might not like that. But there you go, guys. What are your thoughts on not only the gingerbread latte, but the eggnog latte as well? Let me know in the comments down below. And thank you for joining me for this edition of Carbs here on Reckless Eating. We'll see you on the next one. Reckless Eating! Reckless Eating!